Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Ganguly, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to take a trip to the UAE and essentially what I have started seeing is that several PhD students have got postdocs in UAE universities. So let's look into some of these possibilities for the rest of you. So now for those of you who do not know, the UAE is composed of seven Emirates. So some of these are very well known such as Dubai, Sharjah, then Abu Dhabi. And there are some which are less well known. So I will put them on my screen. And each of these local bodies is actually governed by a ruler and they come together and they form the Federal Supreme Council which essentially has president, prime minister and various people who essentially run this state. So interesting thing about UAE is that it's got a population of 9.2 million people and about 7.8 million are expatriates and only 1.4 million are native citizens of this state. And the currency here is the UAE dirham. Now, if we think about Dubai and some of these places, we think about the very nice buildings about Burj Khalifa and all these great works of civil engineering. But if you look at it, there are several universities which are now present there. So let's look at some of them. There is the UAE University, there is Khalifa University, there is University of Sharjah, there is Mohammed bin Zayed University, then there is the New York University at Abu Dhabi. So essentially these universities are scattered around the UAE and beside these universities I also saw some postdoc positions in things such as the IBM computational climate research and so on. So I will just go through three postdoctoral positions which I saw and you can get these by just searching in Google Scholar for postdocs in Dubai or postdocs in UAE. Google is a great search tool for finding postdocs. So let's look at the first postdoc position which is in NYU at Abu Dhabi, that's the New York University campus there. So this postdoc is essentially in the field of wave turbulence, nonlinear stability problems and so on. So essentially the requirements in this postdoc are more like a job. So essentially you need to have a PhD, strong publication record in the research field cover letter, CV with full publication list, statement of research, some sample papers, so these will be PDF files, two reference letters, transcript of degree. Now essentially there is one very interesting sentence in this ad and that says that if you are a good case, you will be given the postdoc immediately. So that I have never seen anywhere else actually that this can be mentioned by these guys and one of the reasons is of course that in UAE they are trying to encourage research very dramatically. So what used to happen here is that the state was very much flush with oil revenues and they spend a lot of this oil revenue in building very nice buildings, skyscrapers and so on. But Recently in the last 10 years or so they are investing a lot of money in research and development because they also want to think about the future. So there is a future where oil becomes diminished and so the countries will have to transition to more of normal countries where they have to essentially create wealth through research and development and value add. So UAE is investing a lot of money in that direction and some of this money comes to you through this postdoc route. So beside uh, this job, if you get it, you are offered a competitive salary, you can get a place to stay and also there is a subsidy in terms of education for your children. Now the second position which I saw was at UAE, UAE University and this is essentially in signal processing and 6G network. So here you need to have a PhD in the EE or CS discipline and again have a background in signal processing. So generally it will always be the case that if you are given a postdoc in a certain area, the expectation will be that you have a bachelor, master or at least PhD degree in that same area. And the best case if you have the 
PhD problem in that same area, but if it's in a tangential area, that's also okay. Now this job further requires you to know MATLAB, Python, and of course, very good written communication skills and speaking communication skills. So as I've mentioned in many videos, the primary reason people seek out PhDs is the capability of doing research. So research is essentially either computation, experimentation, and then the capability of essentially getting all this research into data form and then writing papers out of them, making presentations out of them, writing reports and so on. So that's the primary aim of research. Remember that the output of research is journal publication. So that's how you are measured when you are a researcher. Now the next and the third postdoc position is in Khalifa University. So this is in the biotechnology center and this is essentially got to do with cancer research. So here they are seeking somebody who has a background in computer science or genomics or statistics or mathematics or cancer biology. So it's a wide chunk of fields which they are seeking. I'm sure many of these people will be able to contribute toward the cancer genome type of project. So some of the skills which you are required to have are the capability to handle large data sets. Now in many problems, it's not just in data science but in many subjects nowadays there is a very large amount of data which is there and you can essentially use this data to get a lot of information about the data so you can even use machine learning methods with this data so the capability of using large data sets is very important remember the tools here are python pandas psychic learn so if you are not familiar with any of these tools it's always good to spend some time maybe a weekend to figure out basic things about pandas and python and you of course need to have strong quantitative skills and so on for this particular job. So just looking at this postdoc in UAE, I found there are a plethora of options here. And of course, uh, many students around that part of the world have discovered this already. But if you are in Europe or the US or some other countries and you are looking for a postdoc which pays you good money, maybe it's not even taxable then you should certainly consider the UAE and remember that in the UAE you most of the time do not have to pay tax you have to consult some actual tax person for this but it's a very good place if you want to save money so that's something to keep in mind so again if you want to get postdoc right now if you want a fast postdoc and if you want to work on some of the cutting edge technologies do consider UAE for your postdoc journey. So I'll end this video now and I will see you in a video sometime soon. See you then. 